What's up guys, 32 Icon here. I'm going over a range bag that I have that um, that I use to go to the range or go to um, pistol classes. So in this bag, I've packed for a class that I have tomorrow. It's an advanced uh, shooters course. And so I'm gonna show you what I packed in here. And um, I'm gonna go over a couple of the products so you can get an idea of how I use it, all right? So this is the Osage River range bag, okay? And they have a nice little logo right here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Uh, Osage River here, all right? This bag is really awesome. Um, I've had it for, I don't know, maybe a couple of months now, and I thoroughly enjoy it. This is the standard size bag. You can get it off of... Um, Amazon. So you can check them out up there. They have a standard and they have a, I, don't, I think it's a mini or a light edition. So you can go check that out there. Um, I'll go over this later. So as you can see, the bag is very thick. It's, um, the material is like, um, I guess is a webbing nylon material. It's it's really sturdy. So I'm gonna start on, actually I'm gonna start on the outside of the bag, but I want to show you that logo. So I'm starting the outside. The zippers with the bungee cords are amazing. They come in um, on each zipper. So we'll go with the side pocket. So in the side pocket, normally, now this is not my set up every single time. This is the way that I chose to set it up today um, because I'm taking a class. It's a two hour class and this is how I want to set it up. But sometimes when I go to the range, it's set up completely different. All right. So I'll have my ammo over here. Now, this particular ammo is the Remington ammo. It's the military grade. So I'm using this tomorrow and the class calls for like 150 rounds, but I'm bringing, I always bring extra. I always double it plus a little bit more. So I'm actually bringing 400 rounds. So I have it in here, 400 rounds. And actually, um, I put them, I put the ammo on the side to balance the bag when I'm carrying it instead of putting all the ammo on one side. I learned from experience on that one. Um, so in this little pocket right here, I have I have earplugs. Now, like I said, with my Walker headset, I always bring extra earplugs because I like to double up. Even though my headset are um, the headsets are electronic, I have to double up. Also, I don't know if I'll be carrying tomorrow because it's a long drive, so I probably won't carry. But and it's a cold range when we walk in, so I normally put my um, self defense ammo just on the side, so then when I leave the place, I'll be carrying it on the way back. I know it sounds weird, but it's just, it's a long ride, so I don't know. And then when I walk in, I have to unload it, and it's just easier to keep it unloaded. Um, okay, so this pocket is the same thing on this side, all right? So in this pocket, slide this over a little bit so you can see it. This pocket here, I have the same thing, ammo. Okay, 200 rounds, 200 rounds. And then I decided that I wanted to put my um, mag pouches. These are Blade Tech mag pouches. I love them, by the way. I probably should do a review on them, but they're amazing. I just throw them over here, all right? Nothing, nothing serious, nothing extra. All right, down here, make sure you can see this. Okay, so in here... I have my Smith and Weston mags. Okay, it's four. It's it's actually let me see four, five, six, seven. There are seven spaces. Uh, I'm using four of them, and then you have another pocket right here. Hopefully, you guys can see this. You have another pocket right here, and in this pocket, you can put a pistol. It's nice and soft where you can fit a pistol in there. I, I didn't put one in there. And you also have some space on the outside if you want to put maybe another pistol there or something else. I chose not to use it for that. And I chose to use it for a couple of my tools. And in here I have, you know, when you go to the range or you go to a class, you don't want any problems with your 
with your um with your guns or accessories. So this is just a pack of wrench tools and um I don't know extra batteries for my headset. Just a whole bunch of stuff that I may need. Um, same thing with here, a couple of screwdrivers and such. Uh, just in case anything goes down, I'm already prepared and I don't have to be out of the be out of the class to get my stuff together. I can just get it together and keep moving. All right, so over here, this pocket is the same as this pocket. Just like this pocket is the same as this pocket. So over here, I'm all, I'll am all. i be carrying two different guns. So I'll be carrying a Glock 19 and an MMP uh, 2.0 compact. So over here are my Glock mags, whereas back here were my Smith & Wesson mags. So over here, again, seven spots, and I have four mags for my Glock. Um, also, this magazine pouch actually fits my Glock mags. So that's why I didn't put it with my M&P uh, mag pouches because it fits Glocks. Um, and this is my um, Uplula. I forgot how you pronounce this. Uplula? But anyway, it's uh, um, what is this for? To uh, make it easier to load my bags. Okay? So I just keep the Glock stuff with the Glock stuff, the M&P stuff with the M&P stuff. All right, so we're getting into the, to the core of the bag. I know that's what you guys want to see. So, now, I have a sweater. Sometimes you don't know if you're going to be outside or inside, and I just have a sweater that I keep on the top here. Now, with this bag, you have a little Velcro compartment that you can affix to make little pockets if you want. I chose to have two levels. I chose for my, gun, my guns and stuff to be below, and then I put this on top because I don't like... Uh, my clothing to mix with anything gun related um, just to keep it clean and, 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 you know, and smelling and smelling clean. So it's not mixing with that gunpowder and, and such. So in here I have my uh, safety glasses and actually I have another pair. I bring two just in case they crack. I have another pair. That's what this is in. I need another, um, I know you guys are going to laugh at this. This is actually a gun sock. It's like silicone. Um, it's really made for your guns to keep them from rusting. But I put in, I threw an extra pair in there because I'm like, you know what? what? What if my glasses crack? I won't be able to participate. So I got to get another, another glass case like this. Um, as you can see, but for now, I guess this gun sock would do. I know you're probably laughing at me, but hey, when in Rome, right? So, um, so again, I have my safety glasses. I have my air protection. I did the Walker's uh, razor review earlier. So I'm carrying these. These are excellent. You can check out the review later on if you want. And... This particular class calls for an outside the waistband holster. Um, I usually like using inside the waistband because that's how I carry. So anything that I'm, anytime I'm training or anything I'm training for is usually self-defense. So I brought my outside as they requested, but I also brought my inside the waistband holster just in case. And I'll probably ask if I can use it. Sometimes they're specific on why they want it outside the waistband, but if I'm going to be drawn from concealment and, you know, um, threat ID and things of that nature, it's really going to be from self-defense um, perspective. So I'm going to practice that, not, you know, constantly have this on like I'm outside on the range and just hanging out. So I like to practice the way I would carry. But if they ask for the outside of waistband holster, then hey, that's what I'll be wearing. If I have an option, I'll wear this. Okay? Also, put that to the side. I have, uh, again, my Glock, which is in the Stealth Gear holster. The M&P was in the, um, the Vetter's holster. So I'll use my outside of waistband holster for my Glock as well, if need be. Um, but again, if I can use inside a waistband holster, then that's fine. I'm primarily using my M&P Compact 2.0 for the class. 
but I like to bring a second firearm just in case my main firearm is acting up or something goes down or he asks us to switch it up, whatever. I'm just, I just like to be prepared. And so I brought this, I'm going to bring this just in case. Okay. All right. Um, oh, and that's it for that. So let me show you inside the bag. It's pretty... It's pretty steep. I mean, I don't know if you can see this again. This is my sweater. So if I put that in there, I mean, I still have a lot of room in there. Okay. Also on the side here, you have a little pocket. Okay. In this pocket, again, if we're outside, it's a little chilly. I have uh, hand warmers. I don't know if you can see this. Okay. So I'll use those if need be. And I'll always have some type of cleaning cloth just in case, you know, I have to do some work on the guns or, you know, whatever. But I always have a cleaning cloth in here. Um, so that is pretty much my, uh, oh, it's a little lock here. That's pretty much my bag here because I don't want it to be too heavy. Remember, I have to carry this. So I don't want it to be too heavy, um, but I want to be able to pack everything I need in here and still be able to carry it and do whatever I need to do. So this is my bag. I like it a lot. It is definitely probably my favorite so far. And um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me know. Actually, let me know what you guys uh do when you go to the range and maybe let me know about your setup. Maybe you do it differently than I do. Again, this is what I'm doing for tomorrow. But when I go to the range, it looks different than this. I don't bring two eye sets. I don't, I sometimes have multiple guns. Sometimes I just have one. Um, I may not, I may not, I'm definitely not going to bring my outside of waistband holster. I bring my inside of waistband holster. Um, so I do I do different things. If I'm going with a buddy, I bring extra um an extra headset or uh earplugs. So it just depends on what I'm going and, and how long I'm staying. Most of the time I go to the range, I don't bring a sweater. I don't need to. So let me know what you guys do. I love to hear your thoughts. And um if I missed anything, put it down below in the comment section. I'll definitely address it. And thank you guys for um, tuning in. Please thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.